Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 4. Last time we made some good progress in Serene Shores. Today we're going to hopefully keep that train rolling along. <coughs> Sorry about the uh, coughing there. Anyway, yeah, let's get that chomp up. A better bite is always good, and now we've unlocked Big Chomp, which is, oh yeah, it allows him to even attack airborne enemies. Good, good. Still don't need to worry about Pluck. I am tempted to improve Dig, but I think I am still fine on that, like... Chomp and Rush are probably my biggest priorities. Yeah, we had a rough go of things with the uh, Water Wraith. Well, actually, no, I handled them pretty well. I didn't lose any pigment to the Wraith himself, so that's always good. Oh. What we got in here, mate? I'm gonna stop putting this off, because that, that's really helpful. Uh, and then, yeah, let's improve, I should be fine with 60. Now we got Tough Stuff Plus Plus. Power Whistle is good, actually. Um... Gunk Busters. Oh, crap. Maybe I should have got that. <laughs> and Sniff Saver. I mean, that will be helpful later, but with the little submerged area, I was able to deal with that while avoiding some of the uh, poison. Hey. All right, fuse more onions, I can do that. Nothing else going on over in yonder. We found plenty of creatures for you. So now you want me to find 100, just 21 more to go, okay. Let's see the new boys we found. Like the fiery bowl blacks of the grub dog family. When I see the this blazing beastie, I get a rush of excitement. It's easy to lose track of time when staring fixated at the flame and shrouded form of the fiery bowl blacks. Its appearance brings to mind ancient molten landscapes from an era before our earliest ancestors. The venom dweevil of the dweevil family. Is this just another different color of dweevil? Not at all. You see here a fashion leader of the critter world. There was once a purple one as well, but this year's trendy color is green. Be sure to bring protective gear to see it, though. This skittering sweetie can produce a toxic gas if threatened. Skeeter Skate of the Spitter Spatter family. Clean water is a necessity for this water-walking sweetheart, and a lot of it at that. In water soiled with oils, detergents, and other or other pollutants, it could lose the surface tension that supports the specially evolved feet and drown. This is an extraordinary creature that could only exist on such a water-rich planet. The startle spore of the chrysanthemum family. These don't just mimic a growth of mushrooms for the fun of catching you by surprise. They also use the opportunity to spread poison around quite indiscriminately. But that's just this little darling's idiosyncratic method for catching his prey. We could learn from the way nature embraces such unique and varied creatures. Mm-hmm. Moldy dwarf bulborb of the sporovid family. Picture this scenario, like this poor darling. You're conscious but no longer in control of your own body. Someone or something is taking you over. A horrifying concept, isn't it? But what if the thing controlling you couldn't live if it didn't do that? Sometimes it's simply a matter of survival. Because you know, it's a parasite that takes over the dwarf bulborbs. It's kind of messed up, yo. Withering Blowhog of the Blowhog family. You can have a bit of fun with this one by giving it a good poke and watching it wobble and sway through the air like a balloon. Poke it too much though and it may spew gas and fly off. This mischievous little darling and the way it scatters flowers and cackles is quite charming. 
the Wally Hop of the Infotuber family. With a distinct pallor, almost like it was painted with white face paint, it gives off an air of a uh, performing mind. This cutie can jump with quiet refinement, never moving its plump jowls at all. It's graceful and expressive in the most unexpected ways. Hermit Crawmad of the Crawmad family. Here we have one of the cleverest of creatures. It has many different nest holes that all connect below ground. Using this network, it can move from hole to hole to sneak up on prey or evade predators. A smart little darling indeed. Pearly Clam Clamp of the Snareshell family. On sand hills or in the sea, wherever it may be, it never moves from its spot. It will sit and wait for someone to wander past. Someone being prey, preferably. Though it could also be someone who knows the value of the beautiful shell or the pearl it holds nestled inside. Man. They were they were the best way to grow Pikmin in the first game. <laughs> Toadie Bloister of the Mulliskang family. Cute little marble-like eyes, a smooth undulating body, a big curvy mouth, a tongue that extends and separates into six parts, gills like fruit from a plant. This is becoming oddly sexual. Sit a moment and take it all in. Sometimes it's fun to simply appreciate how a creature that can do so much damage can still be such an adorable addition to our universe. My boy, the Water Wraith of the Unknown family. A living thing is a living thing, even if it transcends our understanding. This unnerving creature is translucent and has no actual physical body to speak of, yet somehow it clutches its rollers with zealous devotion. It's both eerie and fascinating, don't you agree? And we got a new Pikmin, purple. Oh my god, the scientific name, Yokozunum. Amazing, because they're like sumo wrestlers. Um, it's a profoundly heavy feeling, holding a living thing in your arms. It can be overwhelming to realize this thing is really alive. That said, these little ones have a density to them that makes them extremely heavy. To hold them at all is difficult. But don't worry, they're strong enough that they can hold you. Yeah, honey. Alrighty. I can't remember, did I finish a couple collections? No, mom. So far, no. We're getting there with that one. Uh, getting there, getting there, getting there. Dang, I... Hmm, okay. Well, I, I need to do better. Alrighty, then. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else that we wish to speak to? Oh, yep, new person. Hey, you're the one who saved me, yeah? Ha-ha! <laughs> Am I ever grateful for you, my friend? I came here to investigate this place from an archaeological perspective. See, I'm trying to reconstruct collapsed structures and really just investigate all sorts of fascinating stuff. I plan to write a paper based on what I find. Everyone in my field is gonna dig it! <laughs> just a little archaeology joke there. <laughs> so, I heard you use raw materials to make bridges and, well, all sorts of things. Did I get that right? I did? That's great! This is what I wanted to hear. Thing is, I'd love if you could tell me when you build something. Would you mind? Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't ask you to do it for free. No, no, I'll give you something to show my appreciation. Whoa, you built all that? A hey, 10 str- A hey, 20 structures. Hey, are you a professional builder? Well, you are now. Ha <laughs> ha! So build all the structures. All of them. We will get more raw material from them. Oh, you're the one who had the good sense to rescue me. What was your name again? Was it Cap? Oh my, where are my manners? I should introduce myself. I am the accomplished musical genius, Frise. Can you believe I joined the TV station on their spaceship only to end up in an awful crash? My cosmic talent was nearly lost. I believe my encounter with the ancient life of this planet was orchestrated by a muse of music. Nothing shows the heart of a culture like music. There's bound to be some musical treasures here to play on. Could I perhaps impose upon you to gather them for me? Oh? I had planned to ask you to look for this treasure. How like you to have already started collecting, Cap? <laughs> Alright, what, four musical treasures? Eight musical treasures? Seems I am bearing witness to a small miracle. You started before I could ask. Truly a muse of music smiles upon me. Find all of them. I can do. I can do. Alright, everybody else is just kind of doing their own thing. 
Well, off we go back to Serene Shores. Oh boy. <coughs> Sorry about <coughs> coughing here. <coughs> oh my god. Oh boy. Okay. Do I want to tackle the big watery area today? During low tide. I don't know, I'll, I'll see where I am, like, at the end of the day. But at the very least, I will explore up here. Okay. Onward we go. We ran out of time to really explore around here previously. Is this a safe... I don't need to use the bomb. Just want to make sure my Pikmin will be safe. Just work on this. I just let them get me some uh, ultra spicy spray. Like they'll, they'll just be working on that for most of the day. Okay, I will want to check in there on my way back. There we go, ultra spicy spray already created. I've cleared out that area. Ochi, you're gonna be assisting. Damn! Okay. Oh, that's a Dandori battle right there. Of course. And I don't have to worry. He's water. They can kill him. Yeah, I know there's some Pikmin Sprouts waiting. I was caught slipping. Got him. There's treasure around here. There we go. I was just looking at the little treasure radar.
Hopefully that is enough. It is, okay. And I'll go ahead and pluck these. <coughs> Him. All right. And by the time I get to the Nandori battle, that will be delivered. I will be pulling the purples away from the uh, Ultra Spicy Spray excavation, but it is what it is. Ooh, an ocarina. Um, okay, I might have to wait then. Actually, no. I can, I can, I can just get that when I like come out. I don't have to get it like right away. Look, it's a leafling. Come, it is Dandori time. <laughs> That isn't the pilot, but they're still a castaway. Better go rescue him, rookie. Rockaway Cellars. All right. It's gonna be a spot for Red and Rock Pikmin. I, I appreciate the alliteration here. Red, Rock, Rockaway. Heavy things have more value, but heavy is hard to carry. It is important how you carry. That is where you show your your worth. Look, dog. I'm ready. Time for Dan Dory. Good job, Ochi. You can help out. Do I not have enough on that one corpse? No, okay, I do. Probably should have more reds on that uh, wall. Not my smartest decision. Three Pikmin. Somehow, I made that work. I'll worry about the iridescent flint beetle. Mm. 
Yeah, we got some rocks. Got him. I'm not trying to leave Pikmin standing idle. Okay. I'm just trying to see, like, where other crystal walls are. Good job, good job. All right, they're taking that automatically. They're still working on that. Gonna need reds for them. No, what? No, I'm not even gonna risk it. I'm not even gonna risk it. Got him. Okay. I was about to say, like they, they 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 were they were letting me down a little. They were letting me down a little. But we did it. We have achieved peak Dandori. We have achieved peak Dandori. There is nothing else to collect. Freaking go! <laughs> this ain't no game, except it kind of is. Look at that! Look at that! I was locked in. So incredible! I feel dizzy. Then thirty pieces of raw material is your reward. Looks like they passed out. This is our chance to rescue them. This is the true power of Dandori. I.
That's how I roll. That's how I get down. I can multitask with the best of them. I can delegate with the rest of them. They don't know. With all that leaf growth, there's no way to tell who this is, but it doesn't matter. It's our job to rescue them. We don't want them finding their way back inside that cave. Let's keep that lid closed as a precaution. Okay, Pikmin Sprouts on the radar map. They will be fine. They're probably already flowers by now. Blues? Okay, I was about to say. I think I am about done in this general area. What? Oh my god, okay. Um. Well, that's unfortunate. At least it gives me a reason to go back here to um, pluck these sprouts. Uh, so far away, though. There we go. Hey. I'm checking the ID info of the leafling you've secured. At this point, it's just part of my routine. Yep, we don't know who he is. Or oh, she, they. Nothing just like the others. All right. Let's put our energy into finding and curing these folks. Keep exploring. Oh my god. I am losing way too many pigmen to water dump. I'm slipping. Low tide. Okay. So we're going to cut through here. Just start working on everything we see over here. I can take out you. That was just rude. Okay. There's a lot of stuff going on over here. 
Okay, I'm gonna need more blues for that. Wait, we're being attacked? Oh my god! Aim! My fault. Easy. Then all of y'all can just get started on this bridge. Okay. Now let me go back around. Good job, good job. Another good job. Help him out. Well, looks like this is going to end up being a bit of a shorter day, but it is what it is. I would say I still accomplished quite a bit. Seventy percent. still achieve more. Ooh, the Rubber Cutie series is complete.
Ah, oh, great, I lost one. Not bad. Fifteen, I don't have enough. Hey, 15,000 sparklium collected. Amazing. Look at all this sparklium. And yet, the SS Shepard's energy tank still hasn't reached its maximum capacity. Intriguing. The sparklium doesn't seem to possess any weight or volume. You know what that means? No matter how much energy we collect, our tank should be able to handle it. You've done a great job collecting treasure so far. No reason to stop now. Worry about that gate later. Yeah, they're going for that raw material. Uh, no. Y'all are not going to make it. Just making sure because it's pretty much I'm only going to have this area left. Which is doable in one day. I'm just double checking. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Y'all aren't going to make it. Hey, just in the nick of time, though. Not bad, though. Not bad. Not bad. It was a good day. Not a lot on the uh, old pup drive there, but hey, at least we completed the Rubber Duck series. I'm sorry, Rubber Cutie series. And we also found the Zest Bomb, the Giant's Fossil, the Dapper Rubber Cutie, Ring of Return Shield, Chance Totem, well, two of them, Ambiguous Hostile, amazing, Heroine's Tear, uh, Jelly Gaggle, and some stately Rubber Cuties. Eh, yeah, it didn't quite get 25% uh, there, but <clears throat> everything is concentrated to one area now, so we should be fine to beat this in one day. So this is Ultra Spicy Nectar. With a color like that, it looks, or it even looks spicy. It is the main ingredient in Ultra Spicy Spray, after all. Want to try a lick? Hmm, oh, why not? If only for quality control purposes, I wouldn't want to provide my rescue officers with a faulty product. Now let's give it a try. Guess it's pretty spicy. I'm glad I was the one who licked it. But look how fast you're moving. Just think, with this you get twice the amount of work done in half the time. Hmm, perhaps. But I think in ingesting this nectar directly poses some significant risks. But alrighty. 
dawn of a new day. Day 11. And we will get started on this day next time. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. See you next time for some more Let's Play Pikmin 4. Goodbye.